What a wild game with Milwaukee throwing the first punch. The Nets coming back in it close down the stretch. And it's the Bucks that hold on in the end. Yeah, I mean, what a, a defensive battle between these two right. teams, two of the highest scoring teams in the league through the course of the regular season. And um, you saw the level of physicality right out of the gates. Uh, in First of all, the fact that the Nets fought back from that 21-point deficit early on, you knew the Bucks would come in with a different mindset and attitude and want to be the aggressor to start with the way things went in game two. Um, but overall, you know, I think both these teams come out of it. Milwaukee feels like they've got themselves back in the series. Imagine Brooklyn walks out of it thinking they left a lot of points, a lot of points on the board given um, how many clean look shots in the way um, they shot the ball tonight. But but overall, uh, yeah. give credit to this Milwaukee team because they made just enough plays down the stretch to be able to close this one out, especially the performance of Chris Middleton with, with such a bounce back game. No doubt, no doubt. They certainly needed that meanwhile for the Nets 30 shots missed between Kevin Durant and Kyrie Irving the third member of our team joining us tonight for the post game show Frank Isola Frank your thoughts on what we saw tonight in game three it kind of had a 90s throwback game feel oh, to yeah. it you know offense was hard to come by some of it was inept offense a lot of it was very good defense and I think where the Nets are going to be disappointed they took their biggest lead of the game with 123 to go on that impossible shot by Kevin Durant he was on such a roll there Bucks call timeout they get a good possession out of that they score the last six points of the game the Nets miss their final four shots and that inbounds pass from Blake Griffin it wasn't good I give Kyrie Irving a lot of credit tracking it down keeping his balance and then Bruce Brown drives to the basket and Brooke Lopez who did not have a good first half, very good second half, distracted him just enough to force a difficult shot. And the Milwaukee Bucks found a way. That's what you have to do when you're at home. They found a way to win. And guess what, guys? We now have a playoff series. We absolutely do. How frustrating should it be from the Nets standpoint? We knew that Milwaukee, and look, the Nets players and Coach Nash talked about it too. They knew the type of ferocity that the Bucks would come out with. And still, with all that said, knowing what they were going to be facing, they were down 30 to 11 after one Frank. Yeah. Yeah, and I think that's where, if I'm the Brooklyn Nets, I'm a little disappointed, obviously, with the start. You knew you were going to get an initial punch, but I don't know about you guys. I'm watching the game, and in that second and third quarter, the way the Nets were playing, when Bruce Brown had it going in that second quarter, I kept thinking, they're going to get a lead, and then they're going to start pulling away. The biggest lead was three, but even at that point, with the timeout called by Milwaukee, and Milwaukee was struggling so much, and give Chris Middleton a lot of credit. He scored the basket uh, coming out of the timeout. Drew Holiday had the big play when they decided not to call a timeout. For the Brooklyn Nets, for me, offensive execution in that final minute. They missed their last four shots in the final minute. That's what Steve Nash is going to be thinking about. And Coos, those shots were makeable ones. A lot of the shots that we saw the Nets miss in this game were makeable shots. And down yep. the stretch, the shots that Frank was talking about, a mid-range J for uh, Joe Harris that we've seen him hit that yes. quite a bit. Bruce Brown missed a floater in the lane. We've seen him throughout this game hit a lot of those shots and just couldn't get them to go down when they needed it most. That really was a consistent theme throughout the course of this game when it came to Brooklyn, how they were and able to and capable of knocking down shots that were, were fairly clean looks and as Frank alluded to Milwaukee played some excellent defense they were trying to take away airspace of the Nets but there were so many looks for Brooklyn especially a guy like Joe Harris you would expect to knock down Kevin Durant still walks away with what did he have 30 points on the night yet there was a lot of yeah. early shots in those first three quarters um, that you know are makeable shots for him uh, the list goes on so to think about the fact that for Milwaukee yes they only had two players in double figures, both Giannis and Middleton, with, with big nights. Though Giannis uh, didn't, wasn't able to really put the, the ball in the bucket down the stretch of the game. The Nets did a nice job of, of making shots tough for him or forcing him to take um, some good contested looks. But the fact that it was just Kevin Durant, Bruce Brown, and Kyrie Irving that were in double figures for the Nets, not really uh, the characteristic of this Nets offense. With yeah. the way the ball was moving and the shots that they created to not see him go down is something that I imagine they're going to be thinking about here tonight. No doubt. We used to see in balance with this group for the most part and Joe Harris is a guy that we've seen come through time and time again one for 11 in this game for yeah. Joe Harris as we take a look at the game summary uh, that was a seesaw first half 30 to 11 the Bucks outscored the Nets in that opening quarter but in the second quarter it was the Nets getting right back in it outscoring Milwaukee 31 to 15 and then as Frank alluded to like a 90 slugfest in that second half 23 22 scoring then 19 18 <laughs> in the fourth quarter Kevin Durant
Durant missed 17 shots but had 30 points, was big when it mattered most. 11 rebounds, 4 steals. Giannis with 33 points and 14 rebounds. Milwaukee again led by 21 in that opening quarter, and Brooklyn didn't get a lead until the third quarter. Had a lead with under two minutes to go with that big three by Kevin Durant. But again, as Frank alluded to, last six points for Milwaukee, and they pull out the 86-83 to 83 victory.